together and your arms at your side and you close your eyes and then you you try to raise your heels off the ground you're balancing between your toes and your ball of your foot and you try to hold that position for 15 seconds and what happens with people if they have um nervous system toxic uh, central nervous system toxicity they fall forward you know it feels like they're being pushed forward um and this is a, a an, an amazing simple test that opens the door okay if, you, if this test positive now we're going to order some lab tests to figure out what's going on in there um does that make sense yes does the yeah, lab I was test trying it <laughs> does, does the lab test verify that uh, that there is central nervous system toxicity? Yeah, so there's so there you know well, well depending on on how you respond, you know we uh, a first place I start with people will order mold biotoxin tests. You know we may order some heavy metal um, tests, and we may order some but you know some different, you know, if infections, you know, a lot of it's also, also going to depend on their history and other, and other things that, uh, that show up in functional testing to, to, to confirm. Another test I can share with you, which, you know, your audience, you know, you guys can, can look this up or Google it. It's called free VCS. Uh, the, the website may actually be free VCS.com. This is a test that you can take on your computer online. The first test is free, and you can actually get a report from it. At least I, I think they still do that. And this measures the ability of your optic nerve to see contrast between black and white. Okay, the more difficulty in seeing contrast, uh, the greater the likelihood that you're dealing with some form of toxic load or biotoxins in the brain. And so this would be another confirmation test that we need to order labs. Uh, for the person to then, you know, identify more specifically, you know, what's what's going on in there um, for the person, and so we're not chasing symptoms anymore. Um, so those are those are you know two tests that you know you you know you know I highly recommend that everybody do. So um, I have a question, uh, Ernesto. So I bet there's a whole lot of tests, and we can go on. And I don't want to run out of time because one of my, there's two really important questions is number one, can we reverse and heal from these brain and neurological problems? And then give us a couple of case studies that you can share with us before we run out of time. Okay. Um, well, the, the way I look at it is my, my goal is to reestablish physiological function in the body and particularly in this, you know, we're talking about the nervous system and, but you really have to look at the whole body. So, um, when you do that, the majority of the symptoms disappear and function improves. Um, you start getting, you know, negative tests um, the, with these things. So the important thing to consider is that although the brain is the greatest consumer of calories, it really eats last, okay, uh, compared to all the other tissues in your body. Your heart eats first because it's, it's pumping blood 24-7. It stops pumping, you're not going to last very long. And the next a group that eats second is your organs and your glands. And then whatever is left over, your brain gets to eat. So you need your heart, your organs and glands and your brainstem to be alive, but you don't need a, most of your brain to be alive. That's why people can live in vegetative states, mm -hmm. you know, for periods, because you don't need your brain for that. Okay, mm -hmm. but if you want to be a functional, uh, useful individual, you know, then yeah, you need your brain. Okay, but this is the mechanism, and, and so we have to to reverse these conditions. We have to we have to look at, you know, you know what's your body doing. Um, for example, many of these neurological problems take years to develop, and you can detect them very early, like I mentioned earlier, before you have a single symptom. Um, for example, I'm currently doing a lot of work with people who have a family history of dementia and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's to help identify contributing factors um, that they may have and to improve or reestablish that physiological function and their bias to prevent those diseases from ever really happening. Um, so, you know, you've heard, you know, that, you know, there, there are, you know, colon cleanses and there are liver cleanses and kidney cleanses and 
and gallbladder cleanses. Yeah, all kinds of detox. All these right? things, right? But no one really talks about a brain detox. Oh. Okay. So at some point, you know, sometimes you have to do those things I just mentioned first before you can actually really tackle the brain and to start to clearing the brain. Uh, a lot of times you have to prepare the body for a while. To, so it so it can you can really start addressing not just removing toxins but also addressing these you know chronic subclinical infections you know that are in there and um, you know it's it's a beautiful thing when you start really getting things you know, working right you know and you know giving the the proper nutrition so the brain can get fed properly. Okay. Um, give, a lot of people think some, of eating. Give us one, give us one example uh, that you've a client that's a star client of yours. Okay, I got two examples I can share. The uh, one that's very recent, I call him Mr. C. He's in his mid to late forties. He had a brain injury, a concussion, as a preteen, and he also had you know several broken bones. Uh, from that incident and, and after that he developed pretty serious ADD and he would get angry and irritable very easily and very short attention span uh, somewhat impulsive and a very bright guy you know always struggled in school after that so I worked with him for about a month and you know we started resetting a lot of these things in his central nervous system and, you know, from a Western point of view, you know, not only would have been diagnosed as ADD, but he'd probably been diagnosed as bipolar, bipolar one. Okay. He had chronic sleep issues as well and things like that. Anyway, after a month of treatment, I mean, he's like a completely different person. His family is like shocked how calm he is. He actually takes the time to like read instructions before it takes on a, a, a project. He's calmer. It he, he takes, you know, it doesn't have that short fuse of getting angry and irritable. Uh, so he's going through this, this huge identity change right now because the way he knew himself, who he thought that was who he was, that's not who he was. That was the result of these chronic uh, imbalances he had in, this, in affecting his brain. Wow. And that was just 30 days. Uh, another, uh, if I have a moment, I'll tell you another case example. Uh, I call her Mrs. G. Uh, family history of dementia on both sides of her family. She sought me out because she didn't want to end up there. So we first did this first, um, I did the neuro neurological testing with her. Then we ordered a set of labs. And one of the tests um, I ordered uh, indicated like we should order mold biotoxins. Well, she was like off the chart with that. And with the dietary changes I recommended, and even before, um, I even prescribed stuff for her to take. Just some of the different changes that I advised her to do to really support her central nervous system. I mean, a lot of her symptoms just started reducing. Uh, chronic inflammatory you know, conditions, you know, uh, challenges that she was having. And that she was taking different medications for. So, so now we're in the process of you know, clearing this, these mold biotoxins in her brain and, and preparing you know, the, uh, her, her brain for a full-on uh, central nervous system detox. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is, there's so much. I, I almost want to uh, see if you can come back and just talk about how people can uh, go get enter into detox protocols and you know what are those identifying oh. symptoms so that might be a whole nother because we're already out of time unfortunately mm -hmm. dr fernandez so my apologies to you can you share with our our listeners uh where they might find out information about you please sure my, uh, my website is ernestojfernandez.com um, my office number is 941 923-0283. Um, although I'm based here in Sarasota, I work with clients you know, all over the country um, because what I do is fairly specialized. There aren't many folks who do this combination of things. Um, I, I do telemedicine with people uh, all over the world, actually. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. And 
thanking the listeners for uh, visiting us at our show. Uh, don't worry, come back if you missed it. We have more goodies to share with you. Thanks again so much, and we'll talk soon. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks for tuning into our show on SocietyBitesRadio.com. Don't worry, if you've missed a show, you can find them all on our website at SarasotaHolisticChamberOfCommerce.com.